just sit and evaporate. Toilet paper and super glue. Hmm. Y'all have too much time on your hands. I hope everything's got little microscopic holes in it. Right there. See all that? That's your cuticle. You have to get naked. Oh, please. You're like, how the frick did that happen? Really? You dislike me? Uh, P before polish. <laughs> There's what your nail tips end up like. Don't do that. Um. Um, okay, like usual, grab your pen. It's that time again. Um, okay, so here's how you oil your fin fingernails. You're just gonna twist it up about hmm, three to five times and rub it. If you've got time and you're sitting there watching a movie or whatever, you could sit there and like rub all the way around and into it, but this is the way I do it at a red signal when I'm driving. So just back and forth, and it's that quick, you guys, it's that quick. Okay, most of you know this because I see lots of familiar faces. So um, there you go. <laughs> oh, uh, Melissa says, love seeing that this came up, just reminded me to put some cuticle oil on my nails. You're welcome. So yeah, I sit here, and this is what I do is, so um, anybody who's new, if you back here, your nails are, this is where they're created in the matrix. So if you rub that area, um, for those of you who live in really, really warm climates, this won't have as much of an effect, but for those of us who are where it's kind of cold, um, if you simulate the matrix back here, as you're rubbing your oil, you're bringing more blood flow and you'll make better nail cells. So, um, Tis Toy, what a cute name, um, welcome. Uh, so good to see a whole bunch of you, Sherry. Welcome. Um, Sangley is actually stepping into a meeting in 30 minutes, so I won't be able to join again, but maybe next week. Yeah, yeah, let's try. Pause due to poor connection. I don't like seeing that sign. Hopefully, hopefully it's still going. Let me know if some of you are still seeing this. Please, please, pretty please, with the cherry on top. Okay, hello Devin, Sherry, from a former non-oiler to now an oil addict, Lindsay. Uh, my nails grow so much faster and are flexible and more beautiful than they ever were before. Yay! That's what that's what it's all about. That's that's been my whole mission. Is I want you guys, besides the fact that our mission statement is, uh, we believe in creating life-changing products with an exceptional customer experience. Um, I really, my big thing when starting this was I wanted people to start loving their nails and to stop hating them and just feel like they're cursed forever. No, you're not. Um, okay, so some of you still see me, so yay. Um, just know that if it discontinues, disconnects, I will save it if they let me and I will start again. So, hello Cecile, how are you? Big waves. Um, okay, I don't see any questions yet, so, um, what can we talk about? Because y'all can ask me anything about nails, about life, whatever. Um, I kind of know some things after I've traveled around the sun 50 times. <laughs> I'm still getting accustomed to being 50. Not that it really mattered when I was 49 and 364 days. Um, so, uh, good, okay. I'm glad I was gone for a second and now I'm back. Woohoo, Jelena, CLKR97, welcome. Welcome to all of you guys. Okay, so who am I? I am Anna Seidel. I am the co-owner with my husband of Bliss Kiss. And I've also written over about 80 articles over on nailcarehq.com about nail care. And um, I have about uh, seven, eight articles, maybe written by my mentor, Doug Shoon. He is the author of Nail Structure and Product Chemistry. So Karen, do you leave the oil on your nails or do you wash it off? I would never ever wash off the liquid gold except when using the restroom or digging in the dirt or playing with my horse and man that horses have a lot of body oil it's very thick and 
and I grooming him and I get it on my fingers. It's like it takes days, not days, but it feels like it. It takes a long time to get it off. Um, CLKR clicker, the clicker. <laughs> that would be fun if it is. Um, my order should be here tomorrow. Yay. Okay, who got, who was able to get the pumpkin spice? It's, it's running down. We're, we've got less and less. The pumpkin spice latte that, it, it doesn't really have the coffee flavor, but oh, it smells so pumpkin spicy. It's, it's just, it's lovely. Um, and that's a limited run. So anyway, I hope some of you guys got it. Okay, Ma Bear. Uh, can you use a UV light with polish? I'm always smudging my polish. No. Regular traditional polish has to cure, quote, cure. Uh, it's not really curing. It has to, it hardens because the solvents that make it liquid have to evaporate into the air. And when that happens, then the product gets hard. So um, <clears throat> UV and LED, they won't do anything. Um, and oh, this is another thing. For those of you who do use gel and you're freaking out because you're so afraid that, especially the UV ones, that you're going to get skin cancer on your fingernails is completely, completely untrue. Um, because, what was the numbers? It was something like the amount of time that you spend under a UV lamp uh, for a manicure. Um, you would have to go out, what was it? You'd have to go out and sit in the sun for 200 hours to equal the same amount. It was, it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So uh, yeah, there's no worry about that. Uh, there definitely is with tanning beds because that's a different thing. You're exposing your whole body. But I have never, ever, ever heard of anybody being tanned by using a UV lamp with gel. So, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, you got to just sit and evaporate. <laughs> I think that's a new phrase. Just sit and evaporate. Um... Corey says, we still have pumpkin spice latte pens. Yeah, we started with 195. And um, I think a week ago we were down to 60. I know, I think, mm, uh, somebody's going to correct me. Corey will get in there. Um, which is better for a split nail, silk or fiberglass? Whichever one you like, that is what works. I just happened to buy fiberglass and... That's what I used. I don't think I ever bought silk, but they're both gonna do about the same thing. Um, if you're going to do that, make sure that you get one that has adhesive on it. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult to stick it down. Um, and for many of you who have read my articles, my new favorite way to repair a nail is to not repair it at all. It's just like, I don't bother. One, if I just cut it short, I'm, I'm not so committed to my long nails anymore, and I understand whole bunch of you are. It's totally okay. I realized, and this is a life priority. I have my horse now. I've dreamed about having Zeus for 30 years. Yeah, 29 years. Now it's been 30. Uh, but yeah, I bought him when he was two weeks old and I knew you start, cause I've ridden before, uh, back in my twenties. Uh, you have to have shorter nails or that's it. As Rhea knows, I don't know if Rhea's on here, but Rhea has horses too. I think she's over in Finland. I keep trying to remember. Um, but yeah, and I've noticed that Rhea's nails have gotten, have gotten a lot shorter. Um, so yeah, I made that a priority and because of that, I have a different life choice now. So I have shorter nails. And actually, I just cut them down. So I know a lot of you will be jealous, but this is because of our nail oil and the Fab Five wrap. I wear nail polish all the time. Like right now, I have two layers of base coat. That was all I got done. But that's, a, that's enough to keep them from totally becoming toast. So I digress. My new favorite way to repair a nail is to get these guys. Um, I just use a plastic nail and I use the nail glue. Um, what nail glue do I like? Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about that. Anyway, 
So I just trimmed the nail short, especially I discovered it when I broke a nail way back here into the nail bed. OMG, that hurt. Um, okay, so for doing a silk wrap, can I do this? I feel like the, the people who do makeup. For doing a silk wrap, it says brush on gel resin, okay? I don't know if that gets in focus. But anyway, you can tell by the little green strip. Okay, IBD, I got that at Sally Beauty Supply. That one's good. I like this because basically all of these nail glues are just a variation of super glue. They have the same ing ingredients. Um, but there's two different kinds here and I like the brush on gel, which has nothing to do with gel polish or anything. And it doesn't need a light. Um, but I like this because it's thicker and you can control it better than the other nail glue that's more liquid like super glue. And then I tried this one, which I also got, Nail Bliss Pro Wonder Bond. Um, and it says it's a professional brush-on gel glue. Uh, I used that one. I found that for the tips or for the plastic nails, this didn't hold. It only held for about a week. This, two to three weeks. So, um, and then, you know, it comes with its own glue. I never tried it. Kiss maximum speed. So anyway. I just got that one um, and that's my new way of dealing with a broken nail and the two or three times I've done it I stick my hands in front of people and I'm like do you see anything different and they can't tell I'm the only one who can tell um, hello mommy Desi uh, do, 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 Karen love it I don't know what you love hello miss Helene we talked about you I was editing um, editing the uh, stamping the, the two hours and 50, four, two hours and 45 minutes of st the stamping tutorial party that I had on my birthday with my best friends. And, um, we talked about you. We talked about your tips that you've given me. So anyway, I'm working on getting those up to YouTube. Um, yes, Karen uses a tea bag with a top coat. Um, I find that the fiberglass and the silk are much stronger than that. That's what I used. I used to use toilet paper. <laughs> I used to use toilet paper to repair, repair my nail back when I was in high school. Toilet paper and super glue. Hmm, shocking. Um, okay. Sangalies, I use gel top coat on top of regular polish. Just wait a few hours before applying the gel. And you get to make sure that the regular polish is super dry. Very true. Some people find success with using a soak off gel on top of it. It's not made to do that. So be prepared for it to misbehave with you. Uh, some people find great, great success. What I want to do is start playing with gel to do nail art, to do some of that raised nail art. Oh, I want to try, um, all in my spare time, right? Katrina, Rose, Rose, Rose Catalina, maybe? Sylvie, welcome. Ma Bear, what is the Fab Five wrap? I came up with that because I have really, really thin nails, very thin nails. You know, this is interesting. I turned off my notifications and I'm getting a notification. I think that's personally rude. Um, anyway, so I came up with it because since my nails are so thin, I realized, and I know that nail polish gives me temporary strength. And you know when the the Polish Mountain thing came about, which uh, Christine of Simply Neological, she did that. It actually had been done first, I don't remember who, but like three or four years before she did it. Um, but anyway, you can see, so Google Polish Mountain, and you can see all the thickness because people were doing 50 layers, 100 layers, 200 layers. I was like, y'all have too much time on your hands if you're doing that. Um, but it shows how thick a whole bunch of layers of polish can be. So obviously, five layers can be uh, a temporary strengthening. But what I like about polish too is that it's flexible. So if you whack your fingers in, so you've done your hydration treatment and you, you, you've gotten the flexibility back in your nails because of the oil, then when you apply two layers of base coat wrapped all the way around your tips, all the way around, 
So if you do a swipe across your tips, that's capping. And then I started teaching about wrapping. Um, and so two layers of base coat, two layers of color, not wrapped, and then a layer of top coat wrapped. And so what you've ended up doing is five layers on top and three layers on the bottom. So your tips are protected by eight layers of polish. That's what it is. Um, to make sure you don't change the chemical structure of saying, Lisa, I don't know what the original, you, know, you have to say the whole thing. Um, Beth, great question. I'm loving the oil, but does the oil go through polish? It does not go all the way through. So, you know, like we think that all kinds of things are solid. They're not. You stick them under the microscope. Everything's got little microscopic holes in it. So polish is the same, but the holes are, and it's all tight enough that the polish only penetrates into the sort of the top surface of it. And what it does is help your product. It decreases the premature cracking. You know how when you've been wearing polish for a while, <clears throat> For those of us who get longer than five days, seven days, um, it starts, your polish starts to dry out and it starts to get these little microscopic cracks in it. So the oil helps with that. It helps delay that. Um, as well as just being fantastic for your skin. And what it also does is as you're getting the nail growth um, and you're getting the oil in there, that helps, that helps prevent the, because you've got an oil barrier in here, that prevents this chipping that happens or reduces, I can't say prevents, it reduces the chipping that happens back here at your cuticle line. The other thing is that you need to properly remove the cuticle because polish doesn't stick to cuticle skin. And for those of you who are new, um, cause I see 20, 24 people right now. This is such a great picture. Okay, this is totally right there. See all that? That's your cuticle. This band of skin and actually back in here, this is your proximal fold. So this skin, okay, all right, let me talk about this. Um, so this skin, as it's growing out, is very tightly bonded to the under layer of the proximal fold. So it will actually stretch out this skin and then when it gets released, let's see if I got another picture, I know I do, I know I do. Then when it gets released, you end up with this um, this piece of skin that's so thin and it dries out really, really fast. So see how the cuticle here, it's released. This part of proximal fold has released. This part hasn't. So the cuticle can keep pulling that skin and then when you finally release it, you've got this big hunk of thin skin that dries out really fast and that's why people want to cut them. No, it's better to just Use your fingernail or a tool and release the proximal fold from the cuticle. And then you wanna remove the cuticle skin and you do that with a cuticle remover and a cuticle tool. And you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, we are finally, I think I, the team's working to get it up, but we're gonna have a cuticle care kit. Finally, finally, I have wanted this for six years. Finally, finally, I cannot tell you how excited I am. And do I have all the components here in my little drawer? No, I do not. But you get, um, is it here? No. See, this is the problem that I, I use stuff. And so then it ends up in the drawer over there. Um, so you get our, our Simply Gone cuticle remover, which is my favorite and the reason I like it. I was so excited when I found it is because it's really, really thick. And so you can control where it goes. It doesn't run all over. And now I don't have a tissue. Uh, wait. Anyway, um, so you get that. You get our new cuticle remover tool, which has, this one's not it, but it has two spoon sizes so that you can, so that sides, so you can actually slide it across your nail plate and very, very gently scrape that cuticle off. Um, and then it comes with, Simply peel also to protect your skin from the live, from the, the lye that wants to dissolve all skin, dead or alive. And you really don't want it on your live skin 
because it gives you those shredding hangnails. It's eaten through your live skin. Okay, and then you also get a pen. So, super, super excited for you guys. Um, okay. So Beth, that was a long-winded question, uh, answer of does it go through polish? So if you're wanting to strengthen your nails, you have to get naked with the, with the uh, oh man, I'm having trouble putting words together today. So you have to have naked nails in order to have the oil penetrate into your nail plate. Corey says, pumpkin spice is selling so well that we're making, that we're making what we can with the fragrance oils that we have. But what we have we will be sold out by October and if not sooner. Wow, that was a terrible sentence, honey. I love you. Uh, hey, Miss Rhea. I was talking about you earlier. And having the life cho choices of having a horse means shorter nails. Okay. I, I like that some of you are, you feel like you're friends because you all keep showing up together. Now, Corey, how do you come up with your dad or day jokes? Some of them we look up. Bradley made one up, so you'll see that. And Kirsten, if you're making it, we need to underscore put Bradley's name under there. Because um, he made one up for, for, and it just fits perfectly for October. I'm so proud of him. Um, Lindsay, I'll have to check out your stamping tutorial. I have a stamper and a plate, and I just have to get the courage to try them. Yes, Lindsay, if you, it's, I'm gonna break it into the three parts because we did an hour, which Instagram lets you do, and then we started another hour, and then we started another hour and it went for 45 minutes, or another 45 minutes. But it was so cool because I taught both of them stamping techniques and the things to do and the things to not do the first hour. And then the second hour, Britt painted, did one hand, and then the third hour of 45 minutes, Kirsten did the other hand. And um, we had a fun contest. That was, that was really cool. They both did awesome. So, uh, Lindsay, you are going to love it. Uh, just stick it on in the background while you're playing. Lena, you made it. You're not in surgery, Lena Vet Nails. I, it cracks me up. Sometimes she just leaves for, she's like, sorry, I gotta go do surgery. I love it. Cecile loves uh, Illiliums. So, oh, Helene, I just love her. And it's so nice. This is, this is a good lesson, you guys, because I work, so Liliums is L-I-L-I-U-M-Z-Z. -Z. Go see her account. Um, but a lot of people come to me and ask for help and they've, and I don't even know who they are. That's fine. Um, but... So for those of you who are trying to get to know people, comment on their pictures a lot. Say a lot of nice things. Cause you know, every once in a while when a lot of people keep showing up in my feed of making comments, I'll actually then go click on their account. And so that's how we become friends. Um, I don't become friends with everybody. <laughs> but um, So Lilliams, I've just been admiring her work for so long that then when I needed help setting up my camera and stuff, she was so gracious to help me and send me pictures and send me videos. And so that's what it's all about. So I feel like with Helene, if I actually ended up in her country, I could go stay with her. See, and that's what's really fun. It's like when you decide you're ready to travel and you've made all of these friends, you're like, I know somebody in Germany. I know somebody in Finland. I, it's, it's very cool. Um, so yes, yeah, she's very gracious. What exactly, oh, Cecile, you have such good questions. What exactly is tipware? Fantastic question. And actually people who have short nails get more tipware. So it, what it is is it, we cap or wrap our polish around the very tips, okay? So that's to give it extra strength um, and to have this protective barrier. Well, if you go watch what you do with your hands through the day, um, and you will find out that your tips touch a lot of things. You're touching a lot of things, especially with people who have short nails. They will, pretend this is your phone, they will tap things with the tip of their finger. But can you see that I can't 
So if I do the things with my fingertips or my tips hit things um, as I'm grabbing things, that wears off the polish. And so for those of you who don't wear top coat and um, but do cap your tips, have you ever noticed that when you're reading a book and you do something, you'll get a smudge of the color that streaks? That is the perfect example of how tip wear happens because you end up rubbing all that off. And so then, then what happens? Then I get to show you, where is it? Oh, please. Um, so this is a slice of your nail plate and where the tip is. So then what happens is now you don't have a layer of top coat or and base coat and if you and cap your tips with the color. You don't have those layers and so then what what do we have right here? We have all these microscopic holes that water gets to go into and then it gets to push all the layers apart and then you have peeling nails when you take your polish off. And you're like how the frick did that happen? That's how it happens. So um, for those of you who get a lot of tip wear, you may want to every evening um, or every couple of days just apply a little bit more top coat. And some people just do a whole layer of top coat, wrap that around, so to help. Um, and then, so the other thing is when you've got longer nails, don't go back to it, I pick everything up with the big pad of my finger and I do touch everything this way. So. For people with longer nails, we get less tip, tip wear. Um, <laughs> Michelle, hello, beautiful blissettes. I like that. Oh, good. Crystal says, that's the question. Beth, that's the question I was wondering. Uh, Corey says, dad or day jokes. Early ones were ones I've used. Now I have to admit, I find them online. Don't tell. Um, See all your chips after four days? Yeah, you probably want to do another layer of top coat. Lena, LOL, that was my cuticle yesterday. The amount I get is horrible. Yeah, so for so what she's referring to is we want to push back our proximal fold with the intention of you're not pushing down, you're sliding your finger or a tool back. And you can actually feel it releasing from the cuticle. So you want to do that. Uh, Corey, didn't I tell about the new products launching tomorrow? Um, hopefully I got it all right. The cuticle care kit. And so are we also launching the cuticle pu pusher tool? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you guys watch for tomorrow. So excited. Ha, <laughs> Crystal, you guessed right. Um, you guys are so awesome, awesome, awesome. Yay, I'm glad you guys are like excited. Um, Karen, how often do you push the, the proximal fold back? I do it about every five days. So it's kind of when I just sort of notice that that little band of skin is kind of getting bigger, um, I'll push it back every four or five days. Um, but I use the cuticle remover probably every other manicure. Um, click, clicker, can I say clicker? Uh, when is it available? Tomorrow, yes. Crystal, the cuticle pusher will be sold separately. You have gone, the Simply Gone already. Yay. Oh, and Crystal loves the pumpkin spice. It's, it's, Cecile, are you gonna do a mini sale on Black Friday like last year? Yes, we change up it, we change it up every year because it depends on how much stuff we have in the warehouse. Um, whether we need to sort of, if some things, you never know, society is fickle. And so we're always trying to guess the right amount of numbers of things to order. Um, Cause you don't want to order so much that you've got it sitting in the warehouse for an entire year. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so things that we want to move or things that we feel like are gonna be awesome gifts because Black Friday, I mean, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, let's face it, a lot of us get our Christmas shopping done that time. So yes, we're gonna have some goodies. Um, we're working on new products, whether they'll be available by that time, I'm not sure, but we're trying. Um, so yes, we will. 
um, collar fixer. I work in a hospital doing patient care, which means I'm constantly using hand sanitizer. How do I keep polish on my nails? Any advice? Hand sanitizer shouldn't remove your polish. It shouldn't create that kind of a problem. Um, definitely oiling them when you're not at work. Oil as much as you can. Um, even look into, if you go to nailcarehq.com and you look um, in the search bar, look for intensive hydration treatment, um, you'll find the directions for that and do those when you're at home. I know it's really, really hard for people who work in the medical industry. And it's so interesting to me that some of you are allowed to wear gel but not polish. Some of you are not allowed to wear anything. Uh, yeah. I find it interesting that each place is kind of different. But um, also Color Fixer, there's a whole bunch of articles on nailcarehq.com um, about doing all the whole polish routine and your cuticle care and all of that. Um, so you'll find that there. Um, Best alpaca, your birthday is tomorrow. Happy, happy birthday. Beth. When stamping, do you think it matters whether the plates are cheap? It can. It can. Um, what's really, yeah, I find that a lot of the cheap ones from China are um, not etched deeply enough. And they can be overly, overly detailed. Um, and so when you put that combination together, uh, it's very, very hard to pick up the entire stamp. Although I will say, so I did this stamping party with my best friends and I was like, okay, so I'm gonna give you the cheapy China one that I can hardly get anything off of. And both of them were able to stamp with them. I was like, dang, I made you guys better than me. So, um, so yeah, there's a lot, a lot of good tips in that, those videos and I'm almost done with them, so, but, uh, it'll be interesting to see how many of you stick through two hours and 45 minutes. Um, but the first hour is where you'll le learn the most. Um, oh, my inspiration nails. I'm completely new to this, but I love your products and won't use anything else. Oh, I love you. You're a blissette. Welcome to the club. Um, okay. So what... KK Nail Designs, what is the main topic today? I never have a main topic. Um, in fact, the last one that I did, um, I ended up talking about mental health and anxiety and depression and something else. Uh, oh, and dealing with relationships. <laughs> I had some relationship issues with my daughter who's in, who was in college and came back. Um, but it was just because we didn't set our boundaries very well. Um, <laughs> Melissa, I dislike. At first I was like, really? You dislike me? Uh, just kidding. You had to order the pumpkin spice. Yes, you do. You're going to love it. You're going to love it, you guys. Um, yeah, Mommy Desi says, that's why I like using a stylus pen for my phone when my nails are longer. I do too, except I type. My daughter taught me to type. I hold with one, with my type with my thumb and my index finger. So, and sometimes I fat finger it. And then it's quite funny how uh, sometimes, and when I'm dictating, oh my gosh, you guys, when you dictate to your phone, sometimes Siri really butchers it. And sometimes they're hysterical where I actually go send because I want the other person to see how bad it was. Um, uh, yep, Atalka says the cheap plates are generally quite shallow and pick up with the stamp can be tricky, resulting in more polish. Yeah, it's hard. I don't use So, um, there are really, really good companies. The ones I like are Maniology, that was Bundle Monster, uh, Queen, Sissy and Cece, Messy Mansion, I know I'm going to forget some other good ones, Leslie, Lena, Bunny, Bunny Nails, although she's not selling them anymore right now, 
Um, and there's there's other really good ones. It Girl. Uh, yeah. Um, but definitely watch your feed and the people who are good stampers and who they keep using. Um, Leslie, oh my gosh, I could just like blow my entire paycheck with Leslie <laughs> nail plates. And who, there's Mo, Moyu. I think that's how you, I don't know how you say it. Um, anyway, very good ones. Um, <laughs> KK Nails. Nails are jewels, not tools. You got that one right. That's, um, that is one of, should be one of the top 10 rules. The first one is pee before polish. <laughs> you need to go to the bathroom before you polish. Cause, right, right? I know you all know it's exactly, as soon as you, you're you done, it's like, ugh. Dutch nails, I asked my boyfriend to open my cans. There are certain things, like Corey makes the bed, cause invariably I'll bend a nail really badly with doing that, so. Um, Danny, thank you for staying up late. <laughs> Melissa, I wonder what your opinion on dip powder. My nails have been really thin lately and the dip powder has been my go-to. What do you think? That is a great question. Uh, dip powder nails is basically a different way of doing acrylic. Um, so you're putting a product, a liquid type product, and then you're dipping um, into the acrylic powder. So rather than creating this nice little perfect ball um, that then is patted and spread out when you're doing the acrylic, and that's what can make acrylic very, very difficult, is to get that perfect blend of the, the moisture and the powder. Um, and that's why it's important. If you want acrylic, go to somebody who's really, really good. Um, and the other thing with acrylic be very, very careful for the, the ones that have the tool that pinches your tips because they're actually, you can create problems in the center of your nail plate by squishing it. So be very, very careful. Um, so that's the difference. So you just keep do, applying that glue and dipping. Apply the glue, dip, back and forth. And so uh, I haven't actually tried it because I don't want the whole process of acrylic. It's very difficult to remove. You have to file it down as much as possible and then soak in acetone um, for however long it takes and you, they, you should not use a tool to scrape it off. You try and use cotton um, and that's why it's really difficult. You need a good nail tech for that. Um, so uh, if you are loving it, Melissa, great just make sure that they remove it properly and that will be the when you're ready to take them off doing a fill is very different so they'll just file it down enough so that they can create I think it's called the apex they have to create the right amount through the middle which is why you don't want to wait uh, extended like eight weeks 12 weeks you don't want to wait because then the apex has changed it's it's grown out to a spot that's that can be very dangerous um, because it'll break and it'll rip your nail so it's really important to stay on that fill schedule so that your nails um, don't get all whacked up um, Zeppelin, I've been working on the same proximal fold for 10 minutes and it won't budge. I need to see a video. You need to send me a little video. Yeah, if you can. Get a little tripod and show me what you're doing. Please, pretty please. Um, Crystal, I used to use the dips, but I keep ripping them off my nails. Yeah, and you know what, you guys? That is a thing. That is a problem. A lot of people can't do polish or um, because they'll sit there and pick at it or polish or gel. Um, acrylic's a little harder to pick at, but um, yeah, you can destroy your nails if you've got a picking habit. So uh, if you have that issue, um, I pick at my skin. Uh, other people pick at their skin 
and their polish or bite their nails, we have a support group over on Facebook. And go to myblisskiss.com forward slash healthy nails. And um, that will take you to our biting and picking group. It's closed. It Well, yeah, it's closed. And that is to keep the trolls out. But we work really hard to get you approved um, the, trying the day you you request um, and it is the most supportive group I've ever experienced in my life um, Atilka they're fine as long as they're being removed properly they are my go-to when I break a nail to give nail strength while the break is growing out so that is using the dip powder Rhea and Rhea's a nail professional if you use dip powders always soak them off as soon as they start to lift Otherwise, they can damage the surface of your nails. If soaked off properly, then they don't do much harm. And that may be something, if you don't want to pay to have your nail tech do it, ha have her show you how she does it, she or he, and, um, and maybe they would be okay with you removing it properly um, on your own. And so then you can come back to them and have it done perfectly. Um, Crystal, yes, when I used to go to the salon, it was awesome, but I can't keep the dip powders on. I think I apply it too thick, and if the sides are on my skin, you rip them off the next day. So an, a naked nail now, so I have naked nails now, yeah. Um, you have to learn what's your what's your thing. Like, I, pick, I will pick it polish once it starts to lift in a corner, like especially when I've gone for 10 days or more, you'll start to get the polish releasing it's releasing the bond on its own and um, I will pick that and I've written an article where I picked like two-thirds of the polish off and and then I it felt fuzzy and then I took a picture and I was like oh I should write an article about that and I yeah when you look at that blown up on that big monitor I was like oh my gosh and now I have to have polish remover with me practically all the time. In fact, you can buy, if it's an issue for you, you can buy, they're about this big, uh, little um, travel remover pads, and it has enough to remove uh, the polish on all 10 nails. So I have those as my emergency backup. Um, Atolka, I normally remove them in a week to reapply the nail polish removing clips make it actually super easy to soak them off properly. Awesome. Do I have any here? Yes. So what she's talking about is our nail polish clips. And what you do is you saturate a piece of cotton, like almost dripping kind of saturate, put it on your nail and then just clip it. And the body heat warms up the acetone. So it works 50% faster. Um, so yeah. And then you just basically remove it and sometimes the cotton stays in there, sometimes it doesn't. And then you just firmly grip and pull out, swipe. So I use two fingers to grip. I think that's how I taught Corey. It took me a while to figure out how to teach. You wanna learn something and know it really, really well, teach it to somebody. So, um, KK Nails, I work with animals in the hospital and have to wear gloves for everything. Good job. Um, Lena uses gel because washing so much. Yeah, those of you who medical people or pets, yeah, it's hard. Okay, let me find a question. Anna, how often do you paint your nails and do you paint them in the same day? I usually do mine every Sunday. Yeah, well, that's good. Sunday is your, your, your me day. That's awesome. Um, how often do I paint them? It depends on my life. It depends on the insanity of my life. And I'm lucky that I get to paint them on my work day. Um, so that's pretty fun. And actually that brings me to a question I want to ask you guys. Um, so anyway, I paint them about every seven days, but I did this on Friday. That's as far as I got. <laughs> and here we are on Thursday again. Um, so I try and have them painted and have it last for about a week. Um, oh, Corey says, tell me about 
Wait, I just said I wanted to. Okay, I want to ask you guys. Uh, in terms of me editing videos and stuff, would you rather have me keep editing the lives that I've done, like this one, um, and get those up? Or would you rather that I s shift my focus to doing nail art tutorials? Because I really, really want to do it, but I end up editing these things. Um, I want to know what you guys want. So tell me, and tell me what you want me to do a t tutorial about. Um, so yeah, that would help me. I like doing what you guys want. Um, okay, Corey says, tell about a rewards loyalty program. Yes, I almost forgot that. And we're almost at the end. Um, <clears throat> So we ha now have a reward and loyalty program where you get points based on your orders and um, and referring people to our website and w when they order. So I don't remember all the rules and the, the guidelines and stuff, but when you go to our website, if you already have an account, just log in, okay? If you don't, so down at the bottom, I think if this is backwards in that corner, or that corner <laughs> um, there will be a little red tab that you just click and it will um, if you don't have an account on our website it will prompt you to make one and then you'll start getting rewards for your orders so I think you get 60 points for just signing up I think anyway um, yeah and then you can use those points um, towards products and getting a discount so that's freaking awesome um, <laughs> Crystal, I do three coats, but I stare at them and I want to rip them off. Crystal, I hope you're part of our biting and picking group. Um, oh, Cecile says for cheaper plates, the plates edges can be very sharp too. I ended up in the ER after cutting myself with it. Oh uh, yeah. So, uh, if you've got some of those plates that have, um, no border and the, the edge hasn't been like some of the plates they have they they're attached to a plastic piece um and so some of them they aren't um and if the edge has not been rounded they can be very very sharp so use something to help get underneath it because they kind of stick to your table or your manicure mat um and make it hard to lift so use a tool use a orange wood stick or a paintbrush something like that um, oh, Lena says she likes the Born Pretty ones. Born Pretty is a ginormous company from China, so uh, they can take a little bit longer. Um, China is definitely improving theirs, and um, they actually, uh, so all the plates, most of the plates are made in China, even the big names, but the, the owners have demanded that they be etched a certain way and so China is starting to get the gist and they are starting to make better plates um, Natasha oh this is a good question that I've never been asked is taking birth control pills does it help you with the growth of your nails that is a very interesting question so birth control pills make your body think that you're pregnant <clears throat> And we know that getting pregnant is one of the scientifically proven ways that nails grow uh, faster. But then you have the baby and then you go back and your hair falls out because all of that hair growth uh, is no longer getting the, those hormones. Um, and your nails grow faster because your whole body is in growth mode. It's helping the baby grow and so you grow too. I grew 70 pounds. Um, I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, wow. There's an I don't know out there. There's a few of them, but oh, you'll have to tell me. Um, Rhea says Kiara Sky dip powders are pretty easy to soak off. Excellent. So maybe the dip powders are a little less acetone resistant um, regular acrylic is very acetone resistant so it does not like um, 
It's just you soak in it and nothing happens. Um, yeah, so Rhea said the same thing. A lot easier than a regular acrylic nails. Atulka says, uh, I second that. The newest generations do come off super easy. Yeah, and this is a perfect example. Um, technology, the technology and the chemistry of these products. Oh, thank you for the stars, you guys. Stars, hearts. Some of them are circles and then they pop. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh, yeah. So the technology and chemistry of these things is, has gotten so much better. And unfortunately, the people who I call them the chop shops, they're the ones that are really, really cheap, um, and they don't go back to school. They don't keep getting that continuing education and even the continuing education that the product companies provide. So the product company, so let's say OPI, they have an educational team that goes around and teaches how to use their products properly. So that's really important. And so the, the really cheaper places, they don't, they don't go to those. Um, so they're using old technology, old methods. Uh, you do not have to have half of your nail plate ground down in order to have acrylic or gel. Melissa, what a support group. I am terrible picker of skin. I once polished chips. I pick at it until my nails are a mess. Oh, where was that when I needed to get on that? Um, so for those of you um, our biting and skin, biting and picking group is over on Facebook, but the best way to get there is to go to myblisskiss.com forward slash healthy nails. And if you've got any skin issues like psoria and psoriasis and eczema and some of those other things, um, we have a skin group as well. Um, and that's myblisskiss.com forward slash healthy skin. Um, hi, Gracie. Monster Chick does nails um, every three days. Oh. Inspiration nails. My polish never makes it a week. I get twitchy and change it after about four days. I understand that. I really came to understand it when I was testing six different base coats and I had to, I was testing them for wear and durability and their their application and and so when you you're testing something, you have to do what's called decrease the variables. So I didn't realize it at the time, but all I had was changing was the base coat. So I had to keep everything else the same. So I wore the same purple holographic polish for eight weeks. It was really, really hard. And yeah. Um, Lena says, I love the lives. Uh, thank you. Uh, Lindsay, do you ever use or recommend Manny Bombs, which are your favorite? Lindsay, that's an excellent question. I do not use them. I have not ever used them. Um, the big reason is because if you sit, soak your nails in water for 15 minutes, um, you are going to cause peeling. You're going to have, let me show you. So this is your nail tips. You can see all the holes. And then let me show you what the top surface of your nails look like when they're healthy. They look like this. So you can see that there are microscopic holes in each cell as well as the layers. You can see that. Okay. Water penetrates through those cells and around them. Okay. And so that's why your nails can soak up one third their weight in water. And then um, but oils, certain oils that have smaller molecules um, and jojoba wax ester is the most important because under the microscope it looks almost identical to your body oil, which is why it actually does penetrate through those, between those layers, okay? So if you're gonna soak in water for 15 minutes, what are you doing? You're pushing apart those, oh, I get to use the book example again, love this. So when you start with nice nails, like a book, you have all of these layers that stack nicely together. As Soon as you get that book wet, now our nails are a little bit more forgiving, um, but I tried, I got this whole book wet, the binding got messed up, and I tried to put things on this while it was drying, and 
So anyway, there's what your nail tips end up like. And so basically they just start to pull apart and lift, which is why I don't recommend them. If you're going to do, if you really, really like the idea, the concept of a Manny Bomb, um, you just make sure you're wearing base coat, one layer base coat wrapped all the way around your tips. The All of the, the oils and the vitamins and things that they put in them, they will not penetrate into your nail plate. Um, the water will not help them. So really all that happens is you're soaking in and your nails are soaking up the water. And then when you pull them out, that little bit of oil is left on your fingers. And so then you feel like, oh, I did a good job. No, you actually are destroying your nails. So don't do that. Um, so if you're gonna enjoy it, make sure that your nails are polished with at least base coat. Okay, my one minute, I got my two more, two, two minute warning. Um, how do you deal with the smell of acetone and nail polish? Uh, ventilate your room. Um, you can also use an air purifier. Uh, that can help, um, but overall, it, it just crack a window. That will help. Um, don't turn on a fan around your nails because it will dry the top surface of the nail, and then all the solvents are stuck underneath, and that can cause bubbling. Um, Indo Hyana. Uh, okay. That baby's. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure I'm seeing a question in here, so I will. Yep. Happy birthday, Kate. Um, yeah, so Lindsay, nanny bombs aren't worth it. Uh, I'm glad I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, those oils are lovely for your skin, but that's it. Um, okay, uh, 40 minutes, 40 minutes, 40 seconds. Okay, you can find my articles over on nailcarehq.com. You can find all of our products and our new loyalty program over at myblisskiss.com. And you can find over 150 videos at youtube.com forward slash blisskiss. Um, so none of you told me about what you want me to be doing, editing the videos or making nail art tutorials. Oh well, direct message me. Tell me what you think. So. I think that's it. Instagram's gonna cut me off. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Hey everyone, to share with friends, click below. Subscribe now to stay in the know. Kindly comment here, what will you say? And remember you're awesome and have a blissful day.